everyone, Bronte here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am super excited about today's clean with me because not only is it going to be a clean with me, but we are going to throw in some fall decor too and spice things up a little bit around here. I hope that you guys get a ton of cleaning motivation from this video and I hope that you enjoy the little bit of fall decor that we are going to throw in here. And I am so excited about today's video because not only is there fall decor and a ton of cleaning motivation, but it is also in collaboration with a super sweet friend of mine who is super motivating. Her name is Griselle and she has her own channel here on YouTube with a ton of cleaning motivation and she has some really great home makeover videos. She just redid her kitchen and it is so beautiful you guys. She did such an amazing job. She has some other makeover videos on her channel as well as a ton of cleaning motivation. So be sure to head on over to her channel after you are done watching this video and check her out. Subscribe to her channel because you guys are going to love her I promise. All of her content is really great and her home is really, really beautiful and I just love her style and I love everything about her channel. Today, we are going to start this video off downstairs. The kitchen needs some love. I've been slacking on my cleaning because I had just finished up doing a bedroom makeover video. So if you guys have missed that, go and check it out after you guys are done watching our videos because it is a good one and I was so excited to share it with you all. It will be linked down below. The first thing we're going to do is straighten up the dining table and we are going to move on to cleaning up the kitchen as well before we get to decorating. I'm going to be using the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Cleaning Mist a ton today in this video. This is one of my favorite cleaners lately. It works really great and I think they have three different scents, but I am using the lemon scent and it works really great for wiping counters down and for wiping the table down. I love this stuff and I highly recommend it. But I wanted to take a minute and introduce myself to those of you who might be here for the first time or if you are coming from Griselle's channel. My name is Bronte. I am a mom of two and I live in Las Vegas. You can find a ton of cleaning motivation on my channel every single week as well as home makeover videos every now and then. I recently just redid my son's bedroom and did a very budget friendly board and batten in his room and I also recently just redid our entire kitchen and that is my budget kitchen makeover. Both of those videos will be linked down below. If you are interested in seeing some other videos from me, go and check them out. And if you would be so kind to consider sticking around and subscribing my channel, it would mean so much to me and I would be so happy to have you here. I'm going to put the stove grates in the dishwasher and I have these little holes on them and I always make sure to put those up so that the water is not just sitting in there and pooling up in those holes and leaving rust behind when they do go in the dishwasher. But this is a great way of getting your grates and your little burner covers super clean, super fast, and no needing to scrub them. Next up on the list is to load up the dishwasher with these dirty dishes so we can get this running and get those grates and the burner covers all nice and cleaned up and then I can move on to really scrubbing the sink because like I mentioned at the beginning of the video I've been so caught up in doing the bedroom makeover video that I have slacked off on my housework around the house so we are going to get caught up on that today and we are going to get this sink nice and shiny again and get all of the grubby food and water stains off of it. In the dishwasher today, I'm going to be using the Cascade Complete with Dawn. This stuff works super great and I love that it has like an orange scent to it. I love anything citrusy and this gets the dishes really, really clean and it does not leave a ton of marks behind on the dishes. It doesn't make them cloudy, which I absolutely love, especially because we have harder water here in Las Vegas. So finding a good dish detergent is hard to come by. I'm gonna take care of the rest of the dishes in the sink and then we are gonna get to cleaning up the sink itself. And I'm gonna bleach the sink and then I'm going to scrub just the grate with a scrub brush and some bleach and then we are gonna get on to actually cleaning the sink with my favorite cleaner.
this Barkeeper's Friends Soft Cleanser is my go-to cleaner when it comes to cleaning my stainless steel sink. It works great on other finishes as well, but I find this to be so amazing for stainless steel. It leaves everything super nice and shiny and gets rid of all of those water spots that are left behind, especially by the water here in Vegas. So I'm just going to work this around the sink. I do wear a glove when I use this to clean, and I'm just going to take a damp sponge and work it around the sink and then make sure to rinse it really well. I do not use the scrubbing side of the sponge because I do not want to scratch my sink up. That is why I have the grate in the bottom of my sink, but this stuff works so, so well. So I've recently been asked a lot about my kitchen countertops because they are epoxy countertops and asked how I clean them, especially since I've done my kitchen makeover video. So I just use any old cleaner, multi-surface cleaner. I'm using the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Mist today, but I've also used Windex on my countertops and any Mrs. Myers or Method Spray, and they've all worked really well on my epoxy countertops. Now I don't know a lot about any other kind of countertops, but this stuff works super great on these, and I have had no issues with any of the cleaners that I have used when it comes to wiping down or keeping these countertops clean. <laughs> We are going to clean this dusty, dirty, crummy, gross stove right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is vacuum off all of the crumbs that I can get off with a vacuum before wiping it all down. And then I'm just going to be using some glass cleaner on the stove top. This is a great cleaning hack if you have a glass cooktop or a black stove top. It works so well and does not leave any streaks behind. My dad actually taught me to clean it with Windex and I praise him every time I clean it because my stovetop is never super streaky after cleaning it, even if it was super greasy before cleaning it. The Windex or glass cleaner works like a charm. show the plant baby some love today this is just a few of my little plant babies that I have in the house right now and I'm gonna be using the miracle grow indoor plant food this stuff is awesome if you have indoor plants I highly recommend it you just put a little pump in the pot and give them some water and while these little guys are drying out a bit we are gonna get back to cleaning up the rest of the kitchen and I'm also going to be wiping down my cabinets today which I recently painted in the last couple of months using the bare alkyd enamel paint and I highly recommend recommend this paint if you were going to paint your cabinets yourself. It has held up so well. I am using the rag that I was using to wipe down the counters and I have had no issue with any cleaning products on these cabinets so far. You only really need water and soap to clean them up, but I have had no issues with residual cleaning product being on the towel that I'm using to wipe them down. And I'm also going to be cleaning my stainless steel using the Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish today. One of my favorite go-to products. It is so amazing. It does such a great job at keeping the stainless steel nice and shiny and it makes everything look brand new. You take my love for granted. Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah. We're going to clean the microwave today because I cannot remember the last time I actually have cleaned it. So we're going to get any food splatters off of there. Luckily, it's not too disgusting, but we're going to get it cleaned up with some white vinegar and some water. 
I just fill up a cup about halfway with white vinegar, fill up the rest of the cup with water and pop that in the microwave for a couple of minutes while I'm cleaning up other parts of the kitchen. And this helps break down everything in the microwave so it is super, super easy to wipe out and it also reduces any odors that you might have lingering in your microwave as well. So our fridge has a really annoying little drip that drips all the water on there sometimes and it leaves behind some of that calcified residue. So all I really do is take a pa paper towel or a washcloth of some sort and soak it in vinegar and just set it right on that white crusty spot and it works so well at getting rid of those really fast. I just scrub it off after a little bit with the cloth, whatever I used, or a little bit of my fingernail, and that stuff comes right off. It is a great way of getting those white spots off of your fridge if yours drips like mine does. We are gonna clean a super nasty area with this fantastic multi-surface disinfectant and degreaser. We're cleaning the trash can today. This is something that I rarely ever do because I just think it's so disgusting, but it needs to get done. So we're gonna do it because it's super gunky. We're just gonna spray it on and scrub it and then spray it on again and scrub it again and get this all nice and clean because it was starting to stink up the house, you guys. I could not handle it anymore. So. We're cleaning it and then we're also going to clean the outside of the trash can because it's stainless steel with that Wyman stainless steel spray. I'm super curious, what are some of the tasks around your house that you put off until you absolutely have to do it? Mine is definitely cleaning the trash cans. I do not enjoy doing it at all. It's so gross to me but it has to get done so we're going to get it done. Another thing that I do not like doing is laundry. I am definitely that person that puts the laundry in the dryer and runs it in the dryer multiple times before actually getting around to taking it out because it bothers my husband so, so much. So what are some of your dreaded tasks that you do not like doing around your home? We are gonna get to a little bit of fall decorating. I do not get super crazy with the decorating. Honestly, I have never really decorated for fall, so I'm super excited to incorporate some fall colors into my home. Even though it's not quite fall yet, we're getting pretty close. So we are gonna add a little pop of fall to this house. I am going to just really do the kitchen area and the dining area today. Like I said, I don't get super crazy, but I did find some super cute stuff at Joann's. So I am excited to add some color to this kitchen. And I also picked up a few things from the Target dollar spot. I am all about shopping on a budget if I'm going to buy some sort of seasonal decor because I just am not the person 
reason to spend a ton of money on that kind of stuff. So I picked up one of these candles from the Target Dollar Spot. It's in the flavor Spiced Pumpkin and it was $3. And then I just picked up some Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice Hand Soap. And I picked up a couple of those little candles in different styles because I wasn't sure which one I was actually going to like in the space that I had intended. So I went with the one with the little cap on it and I just thought it was so, so cute. But I love this Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice Hand Soap. I have not been able to find any of the Mrs. Meyers Fall Scents anywhere, so I was super excited when I found one of the hand soaps and I scored on that one. So I made this shelf in my kitchen makeover video and it's kind of been one of my favorite parts of the kitchen because I didn't really have anywhere to decorate before. So I love this shelf and I was having the hardest time figuring out how I wanted to style it because like I mentioned, I am not a huge fall decorator or seasonal decorator. Not that I don't like it, I find it super, super beautiful but I'm just more of like a less is more kind of person. So this is totally stepping outside of my box right now, but I am super excited with the stuff that I did find and the colors that I found because I feel like some of these florals can be used for other holidays as well, which I really love. And then obviously these vases are very versatile too, especially because everything is like super in right now with all these amber colored glasses and the orange colored vases and stuff. So I am super excited to have snagged some of those. They were 60% off at Joann's. All of the seasonal decor was 60% off at Joann's. Their Halloween stuff is 40% off right now. So run to a Joann's if you have some near you because I found such cute stuff. There was a ton of stuff that I didn't buy that I absolutely loved for Halloween as well. And then I picked up this little basket in the Target dollar spot not too long ago when they had some of their fall stuff out. I ended up changing out the shelf so many times. I even went back the next morning and changed it up a little bit. And this is what I ended up with. I don't know if it will stay because I am so indecisive about stuff. But for now, this is what I like. And I loved how it turned out. It was kind of simple, but yet still had a little fall vibe to it. And I really love florals and stuff like that. So I just thought this was a perfect way to tie it in. And if I were a Spice Girl, I would be Pumpkin Spice because let's be real here, honey, that Pumpkin Spice Latte and the Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew are super yummy. I'm all about the Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew, though. Which one do you like? Do you like the Pumpkin Spice Latte or do you like the Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew or do you just not like pumpkin anything? And that is totally fine, too. So I'm also going to decorate up the island a little bit. I had these eucalyptus leaves. Those were what were on that shelf over in the dining area already. And then I had a little purple pumpkin with a gold stem that I'm going to be using. And then one of those spiced pumpkin candles just to add a little pop of fall over here. Nothing too crazy and not too cluttered. Just trust your head and your heart. That's what my mama said. Weeks and months and years they passed. gotten the kitchen all cleaned up we have done a little bit of fall decorating and now it is time to tackle the living room we are gonna get everything all straightened up do some laundry straighten up the couch vacuum dust you name it we're doing it today I'm gonna start by picking everything up fold some laundry and we will move on from there I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far if you are Please give this video a thumbs up. It would greatly be appreciated. And I hope that you guys are loving it. You said that you needed me. Like a car. 
We are gonna clean this ceiling fan because it is so, so gross and dusty and it has not been dusted for quite some time, I guess. I do not remember the last time that I dusted this. So we're gonna take care of that today. And I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth to do so. It helps reduce the dust floating around in the air. And I am super, super sensitive to allergens. So this is a great way of reducing all of the sneezing that comes with dusting. I guess I can't help myself. And now that we've gotten dust everywhere, I am going to wipe down the ottoman using that Mr. Clean Clean Freak spray and get everything all cleaned up underneath the ceiling fan. a little bit about the tasks that we do not like doing around the house. What is your favorite task to do around your house? Mine is straightening up my couch. I don't know why I love it so much, but I love straightening up the couch. I love when it's all put together and not a jumbled mess like it currently is. And I also love vacuuming. I find vacuuming so soothing and therapeutic. I just love vacuuming so much. What stuff around your home do you just love doing? And I am so curious to hear what you guys have to say because I know everybody is so different. Some people love dishes and some people hate doing dishes and some people love laundry and some people hate laundry. So I wanna know down below, what's your favorite thing to do? Mine is definitely not cleaning the toilets, which we are going to take care of right now.
I am going to be mopping the floors today and I am just going to fill my OC or Easy Ring bucket up with some hot water and I am going to be using Thieves Cleaner by Young Living. I just used three capfuls of this in the bucket of water. I fill the bucket all the way up to the max fill line and then we are just going to get to mopping the floors. I really love the scent of this Thieves Cleaner and it just smells so good. It is actually a perfect fall scent. So I figured that this would be perfect for doing my fall clean and decorate with me. I hope that you have gotten a ton of motivation from this video to get some cleaning done around your home. And I hope that you have loved a little bit of seasonal decor that we have started to put out over here. If this is your first time over here on my channel, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe, especially if you are coming from Griselle's channel because we have super similar content. And if you have not checked out her channel yet before, or if you've never seen her channel, go run on over there and you guys need to check it out. You will just love her. I promise all of her information is going to be linked down below in the description box. So be sure to head on over there after you are done watching this video. And if you haven't already checked out my kitchen makeover or my bedroom makeover, make sure you check those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next video.